Hey guys, how's it going? So, I was going to make a video called 50 Reasons Why Yibo Sucks, but I'm gonna have to um, uh, postpone that for a while. This is a more requested video. So, anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, 50 Reasons Why uh, the Wolf Will Sucks. Okay. Uh, but, but reason number one, they're gay. Yeah, everyone knows they're gay. R reason number two, they're uh, American, and Americans suck at making arcade games. Reason number three, the games are shovelware. Like, have a look at the whole, um, Wolf Wheels, or the Wyberry of uh, games. Uh, I feel all shovelware games. Uh, Reason number four, uh, Jurassic Park Arcade. It's just a sh just just a shitty like a uh, a shitty whip off of Sega's. Let's go a jungle and yeah, it sucks and it looks cheap. <laughs> Reason number five, th they are the uh, Kawamhiye of arcade games, and they are equally as bad as yeah yeah. And I'm gonna. Uh, you explain that later on in the video. Reason number six, they only care about money, so... Now, I know the whole point of having a arcade cabinet is to uh, make money, but... Uh... But, like, <laughs> Wolf Wheels does it, like, uh, in the greedy way. And, yeah, I'm gonna explain that too later on. And, and that's also another... The explanation why they only care about money. Me. Reason number seven. They make their games as cheap as possible, and that's the reason why Wolf Wheels get so much hate because they make their games as cheap, like shitty, like um, um ports of like far mobile games in that, and the uh, bad graphics are shit, <laughs> and. <laughs> y'all don't know why I added this in, but y'all say it anyway. Reason number eight, they suck dicks while they make their games. <laughs> y'all don't know why I why I added that in. Just don't ask, y'all just bored in. Anyway, reason number nine, the company was founded by a former Bowen <laughs> Midway employee, Eugene... I don't know, I forgot his name, but, yeah, so, it's pretty much, like, Darwin Midway's arcade <laughs> division in a new um, company, because I think in the late 90s or early 2000s, Midway, uh, I've shut it down, I think that's why, um, Mortal Kombat 4 was the last Mortal Kombat arcade game, I think, but anyway. Reason number 10, they made swap machines for IGT. So, IGT is one of the biggest swap machine companies in the world, and I hate gambling. Gambling sucks, and a lot of people hate gambling. And sadly, yeah, I live in a country that has the most gambling yannicks in, in the world, which is uh, Australia, so... And... Yeah, and I know about this because it, it actually says in the... Uh, in the... Um, in the Wikipedia page... Reason number 11, Target Tower. It's just a shitty... Uh, maximum Force ripoff, and it's worse than <laughs> Maximum Force. Yeah, yeah, and it just looks so cheesy and cheap, and it just looks horrible. And reason number twelve, Fast and Furious for the arcade one up. So the so so the Fast and the Furious is just um uh cruising. USA with the uh, well, Fast and Furious license, but they, I think last year or this year, they released it for the arcade one up, but there's like <laughs> two Fast and Furious games. There's, there's this Fast and, Fu 
Fast and Furious game and this other one called Tokyo Drift. And what RK1 Up did or War Fools did, they just they like took the maps from Fast and Furious and put them in Tokyo Drift and that's not good for the uh for consumer anyway. Reason number thirteen, Big Buck Hunter, or what I like to call it, Big Cuck Hunter, because like uh, like whoever plays Big Buck Hunter, like he's a cuck. But anyway, so <laughs> so it's uh, just a shitty come hunting game. So so you have to shoot the box, but you can't shoot the does. But the box and the does look exactly the same. And I don't know why the arcades get rid of, like, light gun games like Time Crisis and House of the Dead with Big Bunk Hunter. Like, uh, like isn't it better to uh, shoot, like, zombies and <laughs> the terrorists than, like, the were innocent um, animals? Um, I know um, hunting is, like, um, <laughs> big in America, but... But what about uh, about them outside America? Well, like for an like for an like for a nobody hunts hunts outside America. I don't know. Reason number fourteen: ninety percent of their games are made by play mechanics, and it's it's yeah, and it's true. Like almost every Wolf 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 game I see is developed by play mechanics, which makes like shitty quality <laughs> mobile style games for the arcades, which is which is bad. Reason number fifteen: Namco tried bringing Wolf Fools games to uh, Japan. And yes, Wolf Fools games exist in Japan, and there were no, and nobody plays them. So Namco published the Japanese release for Terminator Salvation, and and I think other games too. But reason number sixteen: nobody in Japan likes Wolf Fools games. Like, go to a Japanese arcade that has a Wolf Fools games, and and nobody plays it. Like, like, I have never seen a single Japanese person play a War Fools game. Like, ever. Y and I used to, and I used to live in Japan, so. Reason number 17. But I know Poster Boy. So, everyone knows the Poster Boys for um, Namco and Sega, Pac-Man and... Uh, and uh, we have Sonic, and yes, in case Poster Boy is probably, uh, I don't know, Terry Bogard, I think. Yeah, but Wolf Rose doesn't have like a mascot or a Poster Boy. Reason number 18 the, there were no marquee games. So, a marquee game, so when you think of a game developer, the web you like you like you although I manically think think about a game from uh, from that company. So for example, uh when you think of like Capcom, you think of the uh, Web Street Fighter 2 and when you think about Sega it's like the uh, Web Sonic and Namco it's Pac-Man and SNK is probably the king of fighters, but Wolf Wheels has no marquee game. Reason number 19, they use uh, web stock music in their games. Uh, they actually do. And uh, and uh, shout out to Random Access Gamer. If you like to listen to video game music, go subscribe to his channel because he uploads plenty of them. But uh, anyway, Kalam, he's in my Discord server, and he said that he tried to upload soundtracks from War Fools games, and they got <laughs> copyright claims, and the uh, claims came up, came 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 from like 
these like well, I'm loyalty CDs and that's very cheap and lazy to use stock music in your games and that's actually unprofessional for it to do it. Reason number 20, they rip off other arcade games and they tried to like do the same thing with like Cruising Blast, they tried to like copy like I don't know, like Mario Kart or some other racing game, like, <laughs> um, I think, wait, no, that's not, oh, I, wait, no, that's not, not an arcade game, game, that was, I was gonna say Burnout, <laughs> yeah, they whip off other arcade games. Reason number 21, Halo Fire Team Raven, oh, uh, Halo is a okay game, but, Fire Team Raven just sucks. It's just a shitty non-canon game that reuses assets from other Halo games, and you, which we can't run, couldn't clear the game, and the like, graphics look like shit. Reason number twenty-two: the Injustice Arcade. Um. Okay. So, so I have to like talk about this. So. Uh, Wolf Wheels, pretty much, I think they teamed up with Neverwhelm by Life Studios, which is the Mortal Kombat developers, and they also make Injustice. They decided to, like, bow up, to, like, bow up, bring out a arcade, uh, yeah, arcade, arcade release of Injustice, but it's not really a fighting game, because... Because if you um because if you um have a look at the cabinet, there's no like a joystick. It's all buttons like, like what like like you think oh, um how are you gonna now uh, come up can play a fighting game with no joystick? But it's not really a fighting game. It's just a for a mobile game. Um, it's a arcade port of a Boa mobile game. Then yeah, you like have like cards in that, but oh, the cards are shit. The cards look like shit. Yen Yen Warfields thought thought they were gonna like like for make a shitload of uh, for for I'm gonna have money with the cards, but people just fucking throw them in the bin because. Because they are, because they see, because they see the War of Worlds logo, and they're like, eh, I don't want this, and just fucking throw it in the bin. Reason number 23, they are Ninja Turtles game. So, they tried to like, they would bring back the Ninja Turtles arcade game. Yeah, and it was like, they were supposed to be the successor of the, um, you have the um <laughs> Konami game from the early nineties, which is actually not. It's just a game based on the animated cartoon, and it looks like shit. It looks like a for a mobile game. And speaking of the Ninja Turtles game, reason number twenty four, they tried so hard to show peep that people like the Ninja Turtles games. So, if you watch the trailer for the game, they just show, like, well, I'll have screenshots of, like, the like, news articles showing that, like, um, Ninja Turtles is coming back to the arcade and... Yeah, that's not good. Well, if you're not showing people that... That they like like the the new Ninja Turtles, Turtles games. They're just showing the articles about it. And reason number twenty five, their games look like mobile games. Yeah, and what I mean by that is that uh, um that that like your their arcade game from like the twenty tens to the twenty twenties look like mobile games. They play like <laughs> mobile games, and the uh, graphics are shit. You know, I forgot to like mention about the um the Injustice the arcade game. The, the graphics, the shit, the horrible graphics. Like, like, like I've never uh, played the Injustice, but 
but like the actual Injustice game has like way better <laughs> dumb graphics. Like, 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 ugh, come on! I've seen like um PlayStation Two games that had better graphics. But anyway, um, wait, that's pretty much enough about Injustice. Reason number 26. They are so obsessed with, uh, <laughs> um, tickets. So, so, a whole of their games in, like, the late 2000s and the 2010s give out <laughs> tickets. And they pretty much only make, um, <laughs> ticket games now. I think the Injustice game, arcade game, takes tickets, I don't know, but... Yeah, uh, all these arcade developers now, like ICE and LAI, are so obsessed with, like, tickets and that. Reason number 28, they killed arcades, and the consoles did not kill arcades. They just, like, <laughs> decreased the kind of popularity of arcade games. So, the real reason why arcades got died is because of, like, um, <laughs> developers, your, or, like, publishers, like, <laughs> Warfield and Ice come um, f f flood in the arcade wire belly with their shitty shovelware games, and nobody likes them, a and arcades start losing their, like, losing their, like, <laughs> of customers. Like, time zone here in Australia has been losing, like, money. And speaking of those arcades, reason number 29, arcades replaced better games with shitty Warfield games. Uh, like, when I was a teenager, I used to go to the arcades to play Time Crisis 4 because the PS3 version wasn't that good. And, uh... And I stopped going to the arcades because they got a little time crisis for and had these, these shitty like Big Cut Hunter and Jurassic Park game that I didn't like. And speaking of that, reason number 30, their games make arcades lose customers. Like, I remember when the, uh, like in the early 2010s to the mid 2010s, Tens. Uh, the arcades were like packed at night. They were like very like <laughs> busy. Yeah, and like um, ever since arcades started getting rid of the of your, the time crisis and the <laughs> Daytonas and the other Sega and Namco games with like Warfields games, the arcades are like empty. Like. Like, nobody likes War Fuels games. No one wants to play them. And reason number 31, they are Midway 2.0. Now, 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 for, now, for a Midway made shitty arcade games, they, they like, I've sucked at it. Midway only had success by publishing Namco games in, in, in the 80s. And the Warfields games actually walk worse than Midway games, I'll have to admit. 32, there are dollar store Sega. Yeah, the Warfields is just doing a worse job than Sega. And Sega is pretty much dead in the arcade business. They don't want to make arcade games anymore, but... Anyway, reason number 33... That when nobody cares about Big Buck Hunter, EA Sports. And, yes, EA Sports for Big Buck Hunter, Yexis. And that's reason number 34. For when no, um, n nobody knows the Big Buck Hunter, EA Sports, Hexis. And, Yen, Yen, you can only find it on the official Big Buck Hunter. YouTube channel, and yet yeah, still, the, 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 nobody cares about it. And I'm gonna show you proof. F 35. The Big Bunk Hunter esports can't barely get a hundred views. Like, like your most, all of their videos get less, less than a hundred views, which is sad. 
Yeah, for like Time Kaisers and House of the Dead was in esports. Uh, yeah, we'll get like way, way more, way more <laughs> views. Reason number 36. Yeah, I get more views than the official Big Buck Hunter YouTube channel. Like, have a look at the views on the Big Buck Hunter channel. Yen. Yeah, and my channel, and just like, um, and compare the, uh, <laughs> videos. Yeah, I literally get, get more views than them, which is <laughs> sad. And... Uh, the weapon also, 37, Yai have more subscribers than the Big Buck Hunter YouTube channel. Like, have a look at the, their subscribers and my subscribers. I get way more, more subscribers than them. Which is, yeah, ah, fuck you, Wolf Wheels. Reason number 38. The games are rigged. They actually are rigged. So, uh, so, but, so, if they don't have a difficulty setting, they have, like, a time, or, like, your play time <laughs> difficulty. Oh, uh, so when you play, like, uh, like, the game is easy, but when, like, the time runs out, the game gets very hard, and you will have to, like, put more, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, credit, credits in. Like, you have to pay more to continue, and that's not what arcades are web whole about. It's not. And why does Warfields do this? Well, reason number 39... They don't want people to one couldn't clear their games. They which we don't. They hate people who are um, <laughs> good at video games. Reason number forty. Uh, they think people who one couldn't clear games kill the arcades. So you yeah, remember Multi Brawler said that like that when he saw a program interview of some people from Warfields and they said people who want critic to queer games are killing arcades, which is absolutely not true. Like not every single person is going to want critic queer a Warfields or arcade game. Like like like, a lot of people, like, <laughs> continue and put more money in the game they're playing. So this one couldn't clear killing arcade shit is not true. Reason number 41. Vala Midway made better arcade games than <laughs> War Thrills. And I think I already said that, but I had that in the list, but... Reason number 42, they're in um, <laughs> denial that they killed the arcades. They never say the arcades are, like, <laughs> I'm dead, but, which they actually are, and, yeah, and War of Wills actually, like, uh, well, well, I've scared away Namco and, and Sega from, like, the, well, the arcade business, and no, it's not, not like COVID or the, um, you're the pen, you're the pandemic. Mick, that like, they actually stopped from like 2015 or 2016 when when like Namco and Sega made like less games. Reason number 43, they put no effort in uh, making up their games. They literally don't try to make their games look look like good or fun. How about they literally make the same old shit? Um, how how ever since the company was founded, to, uh, they literally put no effort. They don't try to make their games look good. They're just lazy. And they still suck at it.
Yeah, that's reason number 44. They refuse to get, get better. They refuse. They don't want to get better at all. Oh, they're just like happy with just making shitty games nobody plays. Reason number 45. There are not, there are not even Mortal Kombat fans like Wolf Wheels. So, the reason I said that is because, like, um, because, like, um, <laughs> Warfields is run by former Midway, the Midway, um, <laughs> developers, and Mortal Kombat fans love the Midway arcade games, and they don't like Warfields because Midway made better games. Reason number 46. Their cabinets look like Chinese <laughs> bootleg cabinets. Yeah, and like, uh, have a look at the uh, um, at the uh, uh, super bikes cabinets. They look so so cheap. They like cheaply made it, and it just doesn't look good. And reason number forty seven: Chinese bootleg cabinets look better than Wolf Fools' cabinets. And they, which we do, like, reason number 48, uh, YGS makes better games than Wolf Wheels. So, if you never come heard of YGS, uh, they are a Chinese arcade um, <laughs> developer. So, in the 90s and the early 2000s, they were the Chinese, so I like S and K because they made their own, like, like, double Neo Geo clone, and then in the, like, 2010s, they became the Chinese, uh, Chinese, uh, <laughs> Sega, and... Yeah, and the uh, like YRK games look pretty yum awesome. Oh, uh, well, 49. Yay's Hamoosmans make better games than Wolf Wheels. If you've never heard of them, uh, they like, they like, pretty much publish like shitty, cheap Chinese arcade games. They bought out uh, a Wild West shootout, which, which, which is actually a good game. And that shows you they, yay, yeah, some amusements bring out better games than Wolf Wheels. Yeah, and last but not least, reason number fifty why Wolf Wheels sucks. They have no, they they have no fans. Like, literally, no fans. Yeah, I have never met a single person who's a fan of Wolf Wheels games. Uh, yeah, I think that was a pretty good. Um, a <laughs> video, and I think this is going to be my most famous uh, 50 Reasons video because, uh, because like, there were every single other of my 50 Reasons videos are about fighting games, and there were, and I don't know why there were no, why, like, no one watches my fighting game videos, but... <laughs> Yeah, I think this is going to be my most popular 50 Reasons video, but anyway, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!